So today we're in Columpton and Marshall's Fish Bar with Andrew Marshall who's come up with a unique idea for a Christmas dinner. Explain, explain what it's all about and you're going to show us how it's done, how you're going to put it all together. Basically, uh, it was it's come up from uh, little bits and pieces from the internet that people have shown me over the last week or so. So the first one was batter sprouts and a friend of mine um, said I must try them, I must try them. Um, and as I'm not a very Christmassy person and my staff then got on my back a little bit and said look, let's have a go, let's see what we can do. And it sort of kind of just escalated from there. So it went to then the battered pigs in blanket. And, um, and then I just thought, well, can I create most of the Christmas dinner and put it in a box and do a chipmas dinner, basically. And that's what we're about to do now, isn't it? This You're is about what we're to show do. us a chipmas dinner. All right, first <laughs> of all, um, I've got a gravy bomb. So it's right. um, uh, ice cube of jelly, of uh, gravy, wrapped in mashed potato and then bread crumbed. Uh, and that's our potato side of the deal. Right. Uh, and that obviously can take a little bit longer than most of everything else. Okay. Uh, along with the chicken. Chicken leg. So there goes the chicken. There's the chicken in and the potato bomb. And the magic, we can do it all in one pan. Amazing. Of course, just to point out, this is a little camera. So it's showing you exactly what is going on in the deep fat fryer. Ah, uh, look at that. And That's then we've the got- one of the most important parts of Christmas, isn't it? Our pig in blanket. So just a little cover in a right cone just to get the batter to stick well. And then we go. So how long do you think this will take then to put it all together? All together, it'll take about five, six minutes of cooking time, uh, and then a little bit of time then to let it all drain to get rid of a bit of the grease. So it's a lot quicker than just doing a bog standard Christmas dinner on Christmas day, isn't it? Oh, definitely so, definitely so. Not quite as healthy though. Um, I think the equivalent of this dinner um, is two Big Macs. Right, okay. So for anyone who eats two Big Macs or more, ideal for you. Anyone on Slimming World or Weight Watchers? Probably not. It'd be interesting to find out how many sins are in it because obviously there's a big slinging world contingent in the area. I wonder oh, if definitely they, so. They'd probably uh, not be too impressed. Definitely not. So if I just so get ready with our stuffing balls, our sprouts. So is this going to be a thing here at Marshall's Fish Bar, or are you just doing it for us today? Could a uh, customer come in and request this if they if they really wanted to? If they really want to, they can do it. Uh, there is an option for it on the till now. Okay. So it's 9.95 um, and yeah, I'll chuck in a Diet Coke just so you don't feel so bad. Right, okay. Yeah, I suppose you do get those people, they turn up at takeaways, they order double cheeseburger, large fries, full fat Coke. No, no, they, they generally have their, um, they generally have a Diet Coke <laughs> just to uh, balance everything out. There we go. So a couple of minutes in now. And then comes our uh, part of our five a day. So where do you stand on the sprouts? Are they only for Christmas or do you, do you have them all year round? Or are you a big fan of sprouts? Not a fan of sprouts. Uh, I generally feed my sprouts to my mum's chicken when we're at Christmas day. It gets thrown out the window. But actually I must say, since doing them in batter, they are slightly more um, palatable. And then obviously last but not least, you need a little bit of dinner, a little bit of dessert to go with dinner. So we've got a battered mince pie as well. A battered mince pie. Have you ever tried a bit of battered mince pie before? Uh, not before this week. So, and they are remarkably tasty, all, right, all so things considering. I think that'll be our, our taster afterwards then. Definitely so. I'm with you on the sprouts. You've got to try one though. Right, your mum's head. Can't lo not like it until you try it. So tell us about how long you've been here at the uh, Marshall's Fish Bar, obviously um, Marshall being in the name. Well, I start, I took over this place in June. Um, I've worked in fish and chip shops in Western Supermare for 18 years. Um, and it's just time now to do my own thing and step out into the big field, big wide world and 
start my own really. Um, how are you finding it here in Clumpton? I think Clumpton's a very interesting place. Um, it's very much a commuter town, there's a lot of people, the road's always busy um, and sometimes it just doesn't equate into customers but the evening trade looks after itself to a point which is always nice to get people in. A lot of demand for fish and chips here? Uh, yeah, there is. There's another chip shop as well locally, um, which is just down the road. Um, and so we both seem to survive pretty well, which is good. Because it always used to be known as Ian's Fish Bar for quite a long time, didn't it? Uh, yes, it did. Uh, I think they had two stints here over about 20 years. And uh, they've now retired off. And uh, it's my turn. Now being working here um, in the fish and chip shop, you must get to know most of the people in Clumpton. You get your regulars in. Definitely do. Everyone, uh, everyone's got their own little quirks and whether it's the guys that are coming out of the pub just before they get the bus home, or the families that come in and have their kids meals and or for the old people because they always enjoy a smaller meal. That's one more. Get any strange requests? I mean, this must be a pretty strange request to come in and uh, ask for a uh, battered Christmas dinner. But do you have any other requests of people who come in? Have you got this? Have you got that? Uh, well, I did have a lot of requests for battered Mars bars, right? Um, and, bat and breaded halloumi. Um, okay. So they're going quite well. So they've stuck to the menu. Um, I've got a couple of Scottish guys that want me to do some batis battered haggis. Um, so we might see see what the new year brings for Something that one. Something for St Andrew's Day maybe? Yeah, definitely so. Burns night maybe. I suppose it's not too unique for a fish and chip shop to be battering a sausage. Oh, definitely not. Um, but even, even if it does have a wrapped in bacon. bacon around it. Uh, the wrap in bacon just makes it, just uh, bacon makes everything nice to be fair. Um, and I even tried uh, earlier on before you and that's came. that's our mince pie, is that's it? That's a little mince pie there. <laughs> uh, I even battered uh, a rasher of bacon and it was surprisingly nice. Um, so that might turn up on the menu at some point for a little bit of fun. Maybe do a breakfast menu, but you never know. That's so that was that. it, that's it, it's all done. Just the, um, the gravy bond to be done. Just let that drain. It didn't take that long at all, did it? No. You know, when people people come around in the Christmas dinner and they're all getting stressed about the turkey in the oven and how long it's got to be in for and what temperature it's got to be cooked, and there we are, we're we're done. Yeah, a little bit of organisation makes everything easy. Well, how would you serve that then? How would you? So uh, now, also let it drain. Find my tools. So, chicken in first. gravy bomb on the other side, important sausage, find a bit, a bit of room for oh. stuffing, a delicious little sprouts. A bit like Marmite aren't they sprouts? Oh definitely so. So what were those? Oh those were the carrots weren't they? Well, those were the carrots and then a little bit of space left for the mince just pie. spice in. There we go, that's 9.99 that, as you said. 9.95. 9.95. Heaven in a Even box. Even cheaper, heaven in a box, all ready for Christmas day. So you've just cut this open. Yep. What have we got here then? So at the back now we've got the um, mince pie and then we've got the gravy bomb next to it. And you can smell it, it doesn't smell too bad at all does it? No, mince pies are lovely, especially at this time of year. So what's in the gravy bomb? Uh, so basically it's just uh, a cube of gravy in the middle, okay. surrounded by mashed potato, uh, a light batter, and then it's bread crumbed. Alright, shall we have a go with a mince pie? Go on then, Let's you first. It so it's dessert. It's not going to be too warm is it? It's not going to burn my tongue? No. Right, okay, let's have a look then, see what we've got. How is it for you then? The batter mince pie, it's, it's a bit of a treat. Oh. It's the sweet, sweetness of the pastry and then the crunch of the batter. Mm, that crunch of the batter really does make it taste mm. quite nice, doesn't it? Mm. That works surprisingly well. Yeah, scarily well to mm. be fair. That does. Yeah, that's that's good. I might have another bit. I like that. <laughs> Let's have it. Right, 
So, definitely, definitely would recommend a bit of battered mince pie from Marshall's Fish Bar. And of course you've got the rest, so £9.95. Or you can buy the mince pies individually on their own for one fifty. Right. Same with a portion of sprouts or a uh, pig in blanket. Okay. Because uh, they're the ones that are going to be more individually brought. Um, or you can just buy the whole box and have a chipmas on me. And are you open on Christmas Day? I assume not, but... No. No, I've got to cook for Mum and Dad, so... Alright. Uh, and what are they having for Christmas Day, Mum and Dad? Goose. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, well there you go. Everything you need to know about a chipmas here at Marshall's Fish Bar in Clompton. <laughs>